television came to Australia for the Melbourne Olympics in 1956, and with it came an exciting new horizon for telling rural stories. The Rural Department produced a range of television programs. If a young man hopes to make a career on the land, he'll probably start as a jackaroo. I mean, a lot of boys will come and they'll say, well, I want to come out, and they're only coming out for kicks. Have a look what it is and clear off. Well, you don't, you, you do yourself no good, you don't do the boy any good. Oh, well, my family thought I should come out. I had a couple of years or so to spend before I have to go into the family business. So anyway, parents thought it'd be a, a bit sort of, bit slack, so they thought a toughening up period in Australia would be a better, a good idea. In 1968, the Rural Department launched a groundbreaking weekly documentary series. I had seen a program in Canada called This Land of Ours. It, to cut a long story short, led to us introducing a program which people still talk about that ran for 20 years called A Big Country. Yeah, well, we've been here since 1917. In fact, after we paid the first year's rent and the improvement on the place. We had seven pound ten left in all the world. And uh, we don't want to leave. I think Big Country was one of the most important developments in ABC television. It was a development that showed the uh, powerfulness and influence of the rural department. And in a funny way, whilst one could see it as inefficient, that you had this powerful series of documentaries being produced in rural, when that was really the features department role, it produced competition. Maybe inefficient, but those two areas competed to produce the award-winning documentaries. For myself, I've specialised in this patch of netrons here, which have been a real money spinner for me because they give me cash within a month of harvest. I'm one of 14 widows trying to stay on the block. It's um, very hard work for a woman to employ a man and uh, tell him what to do. And it'd be the same Where's thing that? from daylight till dark. There's no doubt about it, it hardened anyone up. I should say... The first few seasons of a big country focused on agriculture. But then it developed into a bit more like Australian story now, and therefore you, you did get that emphasis on, on people and hardship in the bush and, and how they managed to improvise to get over problems and, uh, uh, and how, they, uh, how the finance uh, and, uh, was difficult and how it could affect whole country towns as well. This particular Spaniard that I have working for me, he sends all his money to Spain so that his family can buy their own house over there. His profession over in Spain was a ballerina. Occasionally we see him dancing in the uh, cane field, but the moment uh, he sees us looking, he stops and he I ask him sometimes, why doesn't he dance for us? Why doesn't he you know, show us what he can do? And he reckons that he won't dance while he's in Australia because he's unhappy. I think that any, fella, any man that's coming from any country, going into a, a foreign country, must find it hard. Must find it very hard, especially when you can't speak English or speak the native uh, language in that particular land that you're going to. Big Country had a great desire to bring human stories of living in the bush. Whether you were a farmer, whether you're a primary producer, whether you're a local councillor, whether you were an electrician, whether you're a vet, didn't matter. But what was it like living in the bush? What stories did you have? It brought those into city, metropolitan lounge rooms in prime time. Here we go. 
when I'm in a city anyway, you know, and uh, I do get to the cities occasionally. And I get a, what do you do, Jack? I'm a drover. Not a driver, no, I'm a drover. Ah. Oh, you work at the abattoirs, drove them there at the abattoirs. No, 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 you're on the wrong track. I'm a bloody drover. That's droving out in the country. Then they ask, you know, you've got to explain then what goes on. You can see them sit up and take notice and they say, never ever thought that existed. You know, they think it's a, a dying art, it's finished. It really did define for rural and urban Australians a whole new look at the bush and rural Australia. And to this day, those programs stand alone. They are amazing programs. A key to the success of the big country was authenticity. You get no feed up there at all. Hasn't rained up there where he wanted. So it looks like being a long one. Is time important? Have you got somewhere special that you're going with this month? No, time means nothing. I'm just looking for water and feed, and it doesn't mean a thing to me. I just keep walking. 